Please hold while I try to... Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yes, hello? 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 Hi, I'm returning a phone call. At what time did you receive that call? Uh, it was like an hour ago. And what was the message, ma'am? I didn't hear a message. I just saw a missed call. You've just saw a missed call. So did you receive any kind of case ID number over there? No, I didn't hear a message. Just didn't, I saw the number called me. You called me? Oh. This is Crime and Investigation Department of Social Security. How can I help you, miss? I don't know. I'm returning your phone call. <laughs> All right, not a problem. Let me pull up a file and see what's going on. Can I have your name? Your first name and your last name? Yes, my name is Delilah Buster. How do you spell that? D E L I L A H B U S T E R. B U S C E R. What? The last name is B U S C E R. T E R. T like Tom. All right, just confirm your home address. 7749. Okay. Claremont Avenue. Okay. And the zip code? 75089. All right, and uh, just confirm me the last four digit of your social. Seven four four seven. Is the last four digit? Correct. Seven four four seven. May I know your name, please? Uh, yeah, my name is Officer Robert James. Should I spell that? Please. R-O-B-E-R-T. Robert. Mm -hmm. And the last name is James. That is J-A-M-E-S. James. Mm -hmm. You can write down my best ID number. That is 417. Mm -hmm. J as in Juliet. J, alphabetical J as in Juliet. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. 2843. 2843. The last four digits is 2843. Mm -hmm. Have you written all that information? Right. I've got Robert Can James. Can you repeat it for me, ma'am? Robert James. Mm -hmm. ID mm -hmm. 417 J for Juliet mm -hmm. 2843. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. Now, uh, Delilah, can you. Yeah, if that. Uh, uh, perfect, ma'am. Now you can write down the case ID number. That is D as in Delta, Ooh, C as like, in Charlie. Hang on, hang on, case. ID, okay. What is it? That is D as in Delta, D as in Delta. Two Ds? D, D? No, ma'am, only one D, D as in Delta. Oh. No, no, only one D, D as in Delta. Okay. C as in Charlie. Mm-hmm. Number 7010. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Okay. Can you repeat it, ma'am, what you have written? DC7010. Oh, oh. Absolutely right. So, Miss, now before we proceed further, I would like to notify you that these lines are recorded and monitored by four major federal agencies, and that is Department of Treasury Justice. Internal Revenue Services, Financial Crime Enforcement Network, and the Department of Narcotics. So, Delilah, please make sure that you will be honest and specific whatever you uh, speak over this recorded call. And any statement 
going against the respect of social security administration or any other federal department would lead this conversation to an end. So just make sure that you will be on after this recorded call. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. All right, uh, not a problem. So, Miss, as per the investigation report, under your social security number, there are several allegations found under your name. Allegations? Your social security number was misused, yeah, allegations, and social security administration and law enforcement agencies has the found 23 bank accounts. Sorry? 23 bank accounts? Yes, ma'am. They have found 23 bank accounts under your social security number. And all these 23 bank accounts were used to transfer and receive funds for illegal local and international bank wire transfer. Indulge in numerous criminal activity like money laundering, drug trafficking, and for the internal revenue service tax scam all over the... Hello? So, do you know anything about these or not, miss? No, I don't know anything about an IRS tax scam. Somebody might be using your social security number. I did see a news report about um, IRS tax scams. They said that the somebody, people uh, call you and mm -hmm. pretend to be the IRS. Mm -hmm. That the reason, ma'am, uh, somebody is using your social security number. And that is the biggest concern for us. So do you know anything about this or not, Are they using it to miss? pretend to be the IRS? We are not uh, from the IRS, ma'am. We are calling you from Social Security. Well, I know, but you said there was IRS tax crimes going on. Y yes, ma'am. Right, so I'm trying Somebody to find might be out. Somebody using your Social Security number? Mm-hmm. Okay. If they're using my social security number to pretend that they're the IRS. Uh, that's the reason, ma'am. Somebody is using your social security number. And that is the reason we have given you a call to make you aware about the situation going under your social security number. So do you know anything about these or not, miss? No, I don't know anything about these. All right. So, miss, as I have told you that we have found 23 number of bank accounts. Now, just to fill the financial assets about that, uh, are you the owner of the 23 bank account? Just answer me, yes or no. No. All right, miss, not a problem. So how many bank accounts do you own as for your knowledge and information? I deal with one bank. I got a checking in the savings. All right, so you have only one bank account. You don't know the rest of the 23 number of bank accounts. Correct. All right. And in which bank you are dealing with, Miss? The TD Bank. Are you sure? Are you positive, ma'am? Yes. All right. Not a problem. So now, uh, just to differentiate the bank account, you say you are not the owner of these 23 bank accounts. You have only one bank account with the TD Bank, okay? That's what I said. All right. Not a problem. So, Delilah, can you just confirm me the approximate balance that you have in your bank account? Because we are not allowed to take the account number or routing number or any of the personal information regarding your bank account. It is against the law of social security. So, can you just confirm me the approximate balance that you have in your bank account so that we can differentiate the bank account from the rest of the bank account? Okay. Uh, in my checking, I have, like, 400, no, I'm sorry, 4,200. Okay. Okay. 4,200, approximately. Right, and my savings, I was just looking at that this morning. There's $516.32 in there. No $516.32. Correct. I work not a hard problem, to ma save that. And I can also see if... Sorry? I worked hard to save that. I'm very proud of it. 
Gary. All right, not a problem. So I can also see over here that there are 16 credit cards issued under your name. So how many credit cards do you own, ma'am? Under your name, under your Oh, gosh, I don't have any credit cards. All right, not a problem, ma'am. So now FBI and other law enforcement agency wants us to go ahead with the legal proceeding by issuing a non-bailable arrest warrant. What? The moment we go ahead with the legal proceeding, the moment we go ahead with the legal proceeding, your social security number will get suspended, and all your bank account, debit card, credit card, along with the 401k plan, will get seized by the federal government because there is a charge of money laundering against your name. But Even your passport will get revoked, as you are not. You tell me. I didn't do anything, though. So that's what I'm asking you, ma'am. Now do you accept all these allegations under your name? No. All right, not a problem. So, miss, uh, once this case was brought on our notice uh, by various law enforcement agencies involved like FBI, since then we have been keeping a close watch on you and even gone through your past record. So after this investigation from your past record, we believe that this might not have been done by you. Now the reason why we called you before arresting you or before sending any legal notice is only because we know that the dirty act of drug trafficking is being carried out by the criminals. Right, who are yeah. Still alive. But we, uh, yeah. But we don't have any evidence and proof on their criminal activity, miss, okay? You don't. So do you suspect... So do you suspect on any third person uh, might be using your social security number to doing all this criminal activity? Do I suspect any third person? Um, no, that would really stink if somebody I knew pulled this kind of crap. All right, not a problem. So in this case, I have written all the financial assets about that you are carrying right now. What I have to do, probably what we are going to do is that we are just going to transfer your call because I have written all the assets about that, okay? So now what I have to do is that I have to transfer your call to the, the DEA department, that is Drug Enforcement Agency, okay? Because there are several allegations like money laundering and all. So uh, we have to transfer this call to the DEA department and make sure that he is the senior officer of that department. So do cooperate with that officer, okay? Okay. Is that okay? I guess so. And make sure, ma'am, that the call does not get disconnected because, uh, as I have already told you, that this is a recorded line. And if the call will get disconnected by your side or by my side, the automated system of social security will get the complete refusal from your end. And they will proceed with the non available arrest warrant. So the, so the reason is that, Delilah, I don't want you to put you on danger. So just make sure that you will be honest in this recorded call. Is that okay? Okay. Any questions? No. I guess not. I don't know. All right. So do make sure. Sorry? I don't know. What? What? Yeah, tell me, ma'am. What is your basic concern? You can tell me. Don't be panicked. Don't be nervous. We are trying. To, we are just trying to find it out uh, who is using your social security number. Okay. And for that reason only, uh, I have written all the financial assets that you are carrying right now. For that reason only, I am just trying to uh, transfer your call to the, the DEA department, that is Drug Enforcement Agency. So do cooperate with that officer, as I have already told you that he is the senior officer of the department. So do cooperate with that officer, okay? Okay. And make sure that the call does not get disconnected, as I have already told you. Because this is a recorded call, and if the call will get disconnected, it seems that you are running away from the situation. So do cooperate with that officer, okay? Okay. All right. Do all right, I'm just transferring your call, okay? Okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah, am I speaking with Mrs. Pastor? Yes. 
Okay, hi, this is Mark Anderson, and I'm one of the senior officers with Social Security Administration. How are you? Okay. Um, Mr. Okay. James I said I was going to be speaking to the DEA. Ma'am, right now you are speaking to one of the officers who is a senior from this department. Once we go ahead and verify the information, we are the one who go ahead and take care of this matter right now before we go ahead and forward the file to the DEA, okay? Oh, that's not what Mr. James said so at all. He said I was right now being well, transferred to the DEA. Ma'am, I have to go ahead and investigate in this matter first. We have to go ahead and suspend your social security number. And once we go ahead and do that, we have to stop the criminal activities that are happening on n number of bank accounts. Once that is done, we go ahead and forward this file to the DEA officer who comes down and in person meets up with you or speaks to you over the phone. But as of now, I believe you understand that your social security number would be blacklisted and we would be going ahead and suspending it right away, correct? Something like that. He said there was criminals and that you're trying to find out who the criminals are. Exactly, ma'am. At this point of time, we do not know who exactly is the criminal. Okay, so we have to go ahead and investigate in this matter before we go ahead and take any kind of further decisions because we have to forward this file from the R department to the DEA department for the final investigation. So uh, as uh, the only reason why this matter is so complicated is because I can see that on, over your social security number, there are almost 15 to 16 accounts that are being created and over $100,000 have been transferred nationally and internationally are you looking at the same so that, report the because reason. mr james said there was 23. now we do not go ahead and give out the exact figures i'm just giving you an approximate figure because the file is with that officer and right now i'm just looking at a random file to go ahead and understand what exactly happened so that i can take all the answers from you over a recorded line well i think you should because have the actual file and not just a random file that doesn't help if we would have had if we would have had the actual file we would have not went across with the investigation we would have went ahead and taken charge of going ahead and arrest, arresting the person but that's not happening that is because we are just trying to investigate in this matter and trying to understand what exactly has happened so we want you to be honest over this recorded line because we are recording this conversation we may twist and turn the questions and ask you because that's our job we have to find the accurate information from you and we do not have to give you any information because this matter is into investigation right now so if you asking me that why am i not giving you the exact information the simple answer is the matter is into investigation and this is a criminal matter so we cannot reveal any correct information to anyone so, so what I'm, I'm to supposed to provide to genuine information, but you're not providing genuine information? Is that what you just said? Am I trying to investigate on you or you are trying to investigate on us, ma'am? Are you, you mean to say you would be investigating on SSA and trying to say that we are doing it legally or not? No, I'm just trying to keep the facts straight. Ma'am. You're giving okay, me so facts, to be very honest with and you. I'm trying to keep them straight. That is... Okay, so let me make it very clear for you. Right at this point of time, we do not know whether you are a criminal or you are an innocent person. Just by looking at your past, that you have not done any criminal case, or you have not been arrested, we are going ahead and giving you this opportunity to go ahead and put your opinion in front of the police department and then we go ahead and take this matter ahead okay i get to put my opinion in front of them yeah because we are not from the courthouse we are not the one who are the decision makers so we cannot say you are a criminal or you are an innocent person but then it's our, dis uh, our work to go ahead and understand whether we are going ahead and taking charges against a criminal or we are doing something wrong against an innocent person so we do not punish any innocent person out over here, but then we have to make sure whether you are a criminal or you are an innocent person. Until the time we do not get the proof of you being innocent, we have to go ahead and take this matter this way. Okay. Do you have an ID number? If you have any more... Yes, I do have it. You can write it down. Okay.
It's S S A, S like in South, S like in South, A like in Alpha. Mhm. It's one one five nine seven. Mhm. D like in David, T like in Tom. Mhm. Is that all? That's it. Yes. Okay. S S A one one five nine seven. S S A one one five nine seven. D like in T. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right. So I believe uh, you understand that at this point of time we are going ahead and suspending your social security number. And once we do that, unfortunately, as all your accounts, I mean. the accounts that you have created and the accounts that are created by the imposter all are linked with the same social security number so as soon as we go ahead and suspend your social all the bank accounts would be deactivated and frozen for investigation purpose i hope you understand that right um i guess so yeah all right so the account that uh, you say you claim to be yours is with td bank and the rest accounts that we are able to see you mean to say you have not created and those are created by the imposters right right i only deal with one bank all right so i believe if we go ahead and uh, suspend your social right now even your bank account would be frozen for investigation and you would be only able to go ahead and get access to the amount once the case gets resolved from the courthouse okay okay So you have any more questions that you would like to ask? No. So you're okay if we go ahead and suspend your social right now which would block your TD bank account as well, right? No. So what is that you suggest doing or do you have any proofs to go ahead and let us understand that you are not a criminal? so that we can go ahead and speak to the court house and negotiate with them understanding the fact as you were speaking to show them that yes you are an innocent person and we should at least give you a day's time or two days time so that you can at least uh, go ahead and withdraw the funds and keep it for yourself or do something as such so that you do not face problems for your day to day life okay okay so uh, i mean <coughs> I'm just failing to understand what exactly should be the decision taken right now by the federal government because uh, I'm just having a look at your file as uh, I just ordered it from the desk wherein I am able to see that you do not have any criminal wreckage right correct so what I I'm failing to understand is like this was your social security number so did you give it to anyone over the phone or over the net for any reason you got to call one right no 089 or uh, did you go ahead and uh, share it i mean did you lose your uh, social identity card did i in your past did i did you lose your social security card no i have it right here but i'm failing to understand that how is it possible that you without you losing your card or you not giving your social security number to anyone any third person has an access to it i have no idea okay so in that situation i'll have to go ahead and speak to the court house and provide them with all the information that i've got with you and also go ahead and connect you with the dea once the social security number gets suspended but before we do that i do understand that uh, after looking at your past if we go ahead and suspend your account what would happen is your money would be frozen and you would fall a prey for your day to day life so what i can do for you is i can go ahead and ask the court house for a permission for at least allowing you to go to the bank and withdraw the funds so that you do not have any problems once we go ahead and block your accounts okay, okay? good yeah i'll go i can right. go and so withdraw my funds a, yeah okay and how far is your bank from where you are right now um like maybe 5 minutes away uh that is just because i'm asking you uh the exact problem is we would not be able to hold on the case from the court house for more than 1 hour 
as we have a time once we get the file we have to wrap it up and send it to the DEA office within the next one hour after blocking the information so uh, what I can suggest you is you can right now you are on your cell phone correct correct or is it your home phone no it's my cell phone it's just all right so by the time I go ahead and speak to the courthouse, it may take me a couple of minutes or maybe five minutes. That depends upon the person who responds me from the courthouse. So by the time I do that and take their permission to allow you to withdraw some funds, at least for your day-to-day -day survival, why don't you start moving towards the bank by the time I go ahead and speak to the courthouse so that you would not loosen up your own time, okay? Okay. So just hold on the line. Let me go ahead and speak to the courthouse. You would have very less time before the account get frozen so I would try to go ahead and buy out some more time for you but you need to get your act together and you really need to rush if you want at least uh, some money for your day-to-day -day life okay okay so hold on the line let me go ahead and speak to the courthouse and take the approval by the time you can get dressed for going towards the bank hold on okay okay because I'm not sure I'll have to go ahead and take the permission from them first as the matter is in the courthouse and your account has some issues and it may be red flagged by the courthouse so I'll have to go ahead and first investigate into that ask them if they have already red flagged the account if they have done that then you would not be able to withdraw even a single fund or transfer it to anyone so I'll just have to make sure about it before I go ahead and give you any confirmation so hold on the line for a moment and by that time you can get dressed up okay okay all right, hold on. Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am, I was just making sure you're there. I was just trying to call up the courthouse, but uh, the lines were busy. So I'm just, uh, I was just making sure that you're on the line, because if you disconnect the line, then things can go against you, trying to understand that you are a convict who is trying to run away. No, I'm not. So I'm right here. I'm just here. placing a monitoring officer over the phone. Okay, hold on. Let me speak to the courthouse. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I just spoke to the courthouse and they would be going ahead and freezing your bank account with around 11.30. I have buyed out some more time. We have requested them to give you half an hour at least to go ahead and withdraw yourself some funds because you do not have enough money for your survival. So they have given you half an hour's time. So is it possible for you to go ahead and go to the bank right away withdraw the funds for yourself before we go ahead and freeze your accounts yeah all right so do not disconnect this line because we are going ahead and speaking to the courthouse investigating in this matter but then we gave you the time and we gave you the opportunity because we do not want you to fall a prey for your day-to-day -day life okay no thank you I don't want to fall prey yes so you can uh, move towards your bank. Once you reach outside the bank, let me know, all right? Okay. Keep the phone line open. Do not talk to me while you're driving because that's against the law. If you have a Bluetooth or a earpiece, that's fine. But still, I would not like to distract you while you're driving. So before you enter the bank, let me know so I can tell the courthouse to not to go ahead and red flag your TD bank account, okay? Okay. 
because there are many accounts that are created by the imposters and we have stopped all the transactions so once you reach the bank we would go ahead and allow you and not take any actions against you by going ahead and arresting you or telling the bank to go ahead and not uh, give you the amount because what we do is once anyone is making any transactions through your social security number and your account we are going ahead and putting a block on it so I'll inform the court that you are the one who's making the transaction so that they won't take any actions against you, okay? Okay. So you can leave for the bank right away. Once you reach outside the bank, let me know. All right. your house? I'm driving now. Okay. Yeah, hello. 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 Yes, I'm at the bank. Social Security Administration, how can You're I in the bank? No, I'm at the bank. I just got here. I'm in my car. Uh, all right. Yeah, let me uh, transfer your call. Uh, the officer uh, is in the washroom. I'm just transferring your call. Just wait for a moment, okay? Don't go inside the bank. I'm just transferring your call, okay? Okay. Hello? Yeah, did you reach the bank? I am at the bank. Is this Mr. Anderson? Yes. Okay, now, <coughs> before you go inside the bank, if you're not inside the bank, listen to me properly and then move inside, or else you may fall in any problems if you try to do anything that is against the law, okay? <coughs> what I mean against the law is what the courthouse has not authorized you to do so <coughs> well, what am I authorized to do listen I'm trying what you right now I spoke to the courthouse and I told them that <coughs> you are trying to go ahead and withdraw some funds and 4200 approx is what you have into your account so the question that they asked me is how much is the person gonna withdraw so can you tell me what is the amount that you're withdrawing so I can inform the courthouse that this is the amount? Well, do you, I'm supposed to take the full balance of both, correct? Okay, so that's what I would inform them because I have to take your confirmation and ask you how much you're going to do that. Because sometimes people just go ahead and withdraw some funds and they wait for the courthouse to give them the accounts back, okay? So that that's the way we have to ask you whether what you would be doing but now if you go ahead and tell inside the bank that you have a case on you and you are going to be arrested or there is a red flag on your account or if they come to know anything as such they may go ahead and not allow you to withdraw the funds if they find you suspicious or if they come to know that you have a case on you
So just be normal. You can go inside. You can withdraw the funds. Come out and let me know. By the time I speak to the courthouse, you can complete the rest procedure, okay? Okay, so I just want to confirm that I'm authorized would... by the courthouse to go in and withdraw all the funds from both accounts. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, you can do that. But I, just for your security, if you tell them that you have some problems with the federal government, then surely they would not allow you to withdraw even a single dollar. So just take care of that. It's your money and you are smart enough to keep yourself safe. So once you're out, let me know. Hold on. Hello? Yes, hello? What am I holding on for? No, I said you can go ahead, you can move in and withdraw the funds and come out and let me know. By that time, I'm just making a call to the courthouse, informing them how much you're going to withdraw and what is the conversation that happened between us. Oh. So you can move in, withdraw the funds, come out and say hello. By that time, I would hold on and on the other line, I'll make a call to the courthouse. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. Hello? Yes, hello? Mr. Anderson? Yes, yes. I've completed my, with, um, I took the money out and I just went ahead and closed the account. Oh, you did that? Yeah. Okay, so just hold on the line for a moment as you told me that you want to speak to a DEA officer. So I would go ahead and connect you with one of the DEA officer now so that he can go ahead and take the further investigation, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, hold on. Thank you for holding the line, Ms. Buster. You are speaking with an drug enforcement officer, Daniel Wiseman. How are you going today? I'm going okay. So, Miss, first of all, I just want to know that are you involved in this kind of activities like drug trafficking and money laundering? No. I never all did right. anything. So, all right. So, as we have as you are ready to cooperate with the department so right now we take the permission from the courthouse that as we found you a genuine person you are not doing anything wrong okay and even right now there is an arrest warrant issued under your identity which we need to cancel first okay because right now even your local authorities are not aware about the situation if they comes to know that you are suffering with this all allegations what they will do they will directly try to catch you in custody and they take you in custody for 24 to 48 hours for face-to-face -face investigation and they will try to press your panic button and threaten you okay <gasps> so we don't want that kind of situation with I you that's why we try to contact you I don't want my panic button pressed it. I, this is too stressful listen to me first of all I request you to please turn off your loudspeaker and then speak with me Can you hear me now? Hello? Yes, hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Ms. Ba yes, I can hear you. Don't try to run away the situation, okay? Can uh, you hear me? I hear you. Ms. Buster, I just want to know how much you withdraw from the bank? Uh, there was $4,202.22 in the checking and $516.32 in the savings. So how much you withdraw from that? 
I withdrew both of them. Sorry? Both of them. So how much in total you have cash with you now? $4,718.34. 54 cents, I'm sorry. You have, you have. I have four thousand. You have cash with you, right? Yeah, I closed out the accounts. I told Mr. Anderson. I took all the money and I closed the accounts. All right, now listen to me very carefully. First of all, I just want you to please grab a pen and piece of paper handy with you. So, do you have a vehicle under your identity? Yeah. So I just want you to please get ready and drive. Uh, once you sit in your car, I will let you know where you have to go and what you have to do. So are you in the car? Are you in your car right now? Yes. So are you aware about any federal affiliated store, like Target store or any Walmart store? I'm not sure I understand your question. Am I aware that they're government I'm affiliated? Asking, I'm asking that, are you aware about any government affiliated federal store, like Walmart store or a Target store like this? Well, yeah, I know Walmart. I just didn't know it's government affiliated. All right. Uh, will you please tell me what is your current location zip code? It's 75089. Hold on for a moment. 75089, right? Correct. Hold on for a moment, okay? Uh -huh. Let me check in my system, which is the nearest athletic store, okay? Okay. Um, there's one off Interstate 30, right near the high school. Let me check. Uh, so, have you ever visit Target store? No, I like Walmart better. I go to Walmart. Uh, all right. Uh, now listen to me very carefully, okay? Now I want you to please write down one address. Okay. Okay. Note down, please, 4701. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Miss, uh, uh, listen to me first. Uh, as you told me that you are aware about the Walmart store, right? Mm hmm Yeah. So, will you please tell me uh, how far f from your location Walmart is? It's like uh, 10 minutes away, I think. All right. So I request you to please drive towards the Walmart store. Once you are in the parking lot, just let me know. Don't come outside the car. Be seated in your car. Make sure take cash with you. Take your driver's license with you. One pen and piece of paper handy with you. And once, uh, uh, once you reach to... To make sure I put your phone on loudspeaker, put your phone on your side seat, and start driving toward the Walmart store. Once you reach to the Walmart parking lot, just say hello to me. Till the time I'm recording this line, till the time I'm recording each and everything, what's, what's going on and which, what step you are going to take next. Okay? So now you have to put your phone on loudspeaker, put your phone on side seat. Start driving towards the Walmart store. Once you reach to the Walmart store, just let me know, okay? I am holding the line for you and drive safely, okay? Did you get my point? I did.
Hello, Miss. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Will you please blow your horn? My horn's broken. Can you do something for me? I need something. Yes. Yes. Will you please tell me what what you need? Yeah. I need to know why you became a scammer. Why would you do this? If you believe it's a scam, then I request you to please drive to nearest police department. Oh, come on. Why are you doing this? Talk to me. Hello? Mr. Wiser? Show that you're wiser. Come on. Mm. Well, I have things I have to do, so I had to end that. <laughs> Thank you everyone for listening. Be good to each other. Peace out.